Some of you may have uh, seen our PBS special, and uh, and uh, we'd like to thank PBS uh, for bringing all of you here and bringing us here. And if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be here, and neither would we. So, thanks to PBS, and thanks to all of you. We love you. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you. One more song for you. Uh, it is the last song of the program. Oh, oh, oh you break my heart. <laughs> we miss you too. <laughs> you know, this, this is one of our favorites. Uh, you know, we've had great, great moments with this song from the Oprah Winfrey show with Celine Dion to the Emmy Awards to most recently singing for Her Majesty the Queen in London, England for her Diamond Jubilee celebration. Let me tell you folks, the Royals, they really know how to throw a party. I mean, stadium full of people, pyrotechnics, horses galloping to your music. Unreal. But even more special for us was the invite we got afterwards, and that was a, a private tea with Her Majesty. We were asked to sing, and it was it was amazing, like we, we had time to chat with her and trade like tea secrets. I learned to keep my pinky up, you know, and stuff like that. Victor was so excited, he put his pinky down for a week, I swear. I swear. Like, <laughs> but to be fair, we were all just, like super nervous and we, we couldn't believe it. I actually, I think I saw Remy pull out a $20 bill just to double check. Like that is, yeah, that is definitely the queen. OMG. And I was, I was a little extra nervous because I don't have the greatest table manners, unfortunately, and I was really practicing my P's and Q's, and I have to tell you, I, I, I failed miserably because I had like 17 sandwiches, they were so small. I had a whole three-tier tray all to myself, and I was going for that last little cucumber one with the olive in the middle, and I swear I saw the queen go, now, now, dear. She doesn't really sound like that, folks. I, yes, she got a cold that day, I think it was. Um, but anyways, thankfully, uh, you know, we, uh, we, it was, so it was the day before, uh, they asked us to come and sing a couple songs, Oh Canada, which we knew. <laughs> and uh, this next song, it was the morning before, we were heading to Windsor Castle, and her butler called, and, and he said, boys, we think it appropriate, being the year of the motherland, that you should sing God Save the Queen. And we're like, sure. <laughs> we don't know God Save the Queen. <laughs> Not even a little bit, but we had that hour-long car ride, so we basically put our heads together, created a four-part arrangement, and we rehearsed that sucker again, and again, and again, and I have to tell you, that driver never felt so patriotic in all his life. He was like, yes, I am proud to be British to this! This is the I can't tell he grew up on Monty Python. <laughs> So anyways, uh, it was a great experience, and thankfully we did remember the words, and um, uh, we left it with this song, which we'll leave with you tonight. And tonight we have uh, a very, very special surprise, because we are in Los Angeles, and uh, we can call some very important friends, and um, this incredible man has been a great champion of ours, and uh, just a worldwide, you know, sensation. Uh, he received his star on the Walk of Fame uh, yesterday, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, I won't talk too much because we want to talk to him up here. Please welcome 16 time Grammy winner David Foster! stepdaughter Gigi, 18 to, you know, 45. So, and they're all just loving it. Very wise, good man. So, uh, yesterday was the ceremony. We hear you got placement uh, in an incredible good spot. Placement. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, very briefly, um, when I was 13, which is a very long time ago, the Beatles changed my life. Um, I heard She Loves You on the radio. Before that, I was a classical kind of geek. And um, that just changed my life. I said, that's what I want to do. So, when I found out I was getting my star, 
they said, um, I was working at Capitol Records, and I thought, maybe I have a say in where my star could be. So I walked up front of Capitol Records, where I got my first recording contract, and there it was. Ringo, John, George, and an empty spot. <laughs> and I went, can I have that? Oh, they said, oh, no. I said, no, that's Paul McCartney, he's getting his, uh, you know, in a, a couple of months. <laughs> then there was another empty spot. Can I have that? Oh no, that's for Buddy Holly. He's, he's their mentor, he's the guy that they looked up to the most. Then there was another spot. And I said, can I have that? And they said, yes. Yeah! So, it's great. So whenever I take anybody to visit my star, I'm going to cover up Buddy Holly. I'm just going to say the Beatles and David Foster. Very cool. Well, don't worry because Paul will come and say, oh my God, I'm with I'm right near David Foster. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, you guys are doing a terrific job. I don't even know what I'm doing up here. Uh, well, we want to. We want to. We want to perform with you. We want to play. Will you play with us? Is that good? I will. Because yes. you, he did take us all over the world on his David Foster and Friends tour, and we did a few songs. And he's wearing such a nice suit that he's got to play something. Like it's very charming. You should play a little snippet of like one or two of your hits, though. You know, because. If yeah. anyone here's been living under a rock, you know, maybe you don't it's know. Gotta be, it's got to be under confident. 90 seconds, though, because, you know, you might have to pay your all your ex-wives, you know, some royalties. <laughs> Dead. I'm out of the band. I'm... Normally, I do like to divide my songs up when I perform them according to which ex-wife owns them. But, uh, I don't say that bitterly. Um, uh, but okay, well, um, name a song. I mean, well, any requests? Yeah, requests. After, After the love is gone. Ah, wife number one. Oh. Perfect. Oh. After the love. What used to be right is wrong But love is lost and found I, I shouldn't sing in front of you guys, I can't oh, sing at all, but... You know, Give I us wrote, another one! That was good, sexy! Give us another request! The prayer! Uh, we can get... Why are you guys doing the prayer tonight, by the way? Shoot. Union rules, we, we gotta be off the stage to sing the, the first verse. My baby Ex-wife number three, and I actually, I, I, I refer to her as the plaintiff. I don't even give her a name. <laughs> oh, I must explain something very quickly. Oh, no. ladies. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. I, I really, I love women. I, I, yes. Six sisters, five daughters, and three ex-wives. It's a perfect... Really? Well, uh, such a ladies' think, man. What do you think about uh, doing this song that we... Absolutely. I've done this one before. I hope I can uh, not botch it up. Your band is terrific. It's been a great night, a great yeah. night of entertainment. And I hope I don't mess it up. I'm going to do my best here. Okay? Here we go.
so I tried to touch I told the truth 